Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us for today's Life Lifter. We're on the theme of obedience, and today I want to talk to you about this topic, obey for real. You know, a number of years ago, of course, Mark Twain encountered a ruthless businessman from Boston who always bragged about how he never lost and how he was always determined to do whatever he t it took to win. Nothing ever got in his way when he was determined to accomplish something. One time he told Mark Twain this. He said, before I die, I'm going to go to the Holy Land. I'm going to go to Mount Sinai, and I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to read the Ten Commandments from the top of Mount Sinai as loud as I possibly can. Unimpressed, Mark Twain looked at him and said this. He goes, I've got a better idea. Why don't you just stay in Boston and keep them? You know, there's a lot of people who talk about how they want to follow the Ten Commandments and how they want to obey God, how they want to follow Jesus. They talk about it. They talk about it. And maybe this little quote from Mark Twain um, about keeping them ought to be our mode. Maybe we should do less talking about liking them and more living like we believe them. Obey for real. Jesus said something along these lines about obeying for real, not just in words, but in actions. And he said this in Matthew chapter 9, verses 10 to 13. In verse 9, it says that Jesus called Matthew to be one of his disciples. Matthew was a tax collector. He was a, he was a, a, a crooked guy. He was a guy that, that, that did something for a living. How crooked Matthew was, we don't know, but he did a living a lifestyle as a tax collector, his career, which was, for many, a crooked lifestyle. Because of it, he had a lot of friends who were sinners. We all are, but you know what I mean by that. And so he said, look, I'm following Jesus, and before I get on the road with Jesus, I want to have a party. So he invites all his friends. And guess what? All his friends were sideways. They were morally sideways, messed up, hosed up, just the kind of people you, you just don't invite to parties so it would appear. So he throws a big party for Jesus with all his friends so they could hear him because Matthew was captivated by him. And I want to pick up the story at verse 10. Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. Verse 11, you could feel this. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners. On hearing this, Jesus said, it's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not a sacrifice, for I have not, not come to call the righteous, but sinners. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Another translation, I desire compassion, not sacrifice. Another translation, I desire obedience, not sacrifice. What is he saying? He's saying this, I'm not looking for people who talk about being righteous. I'm looking for people who know they aren't and will turn to me so they can find the power to actually be righteous, be obedient, to be obedient for real. So many people talk about obeying God. Oh, I want to be God. You know, the world out there is horrible. You know, sometimes we have people at our church that act and say like this, and I'm not trying to judge you or anybody, but it's true. They come to our church, oh, they're so bad out there, and I'm so good. And then you find months later they're in some moral nonsense. And, and it's so easy to just say they're so bad and we're so good. The world is so bad. The church is so good. The world is so bad. The church isn't always so good. And here's the thing. It's so easy for us to think we're obeying God and really not. To be, in the words of Jesus, a whitewashed wall. Or maybe Paul said, or maybe they both said, I don't know, but anyway, to be outwardly righteous, but inwardly a mess. And here's the thing. It's so easy to talk about obedience. It's so easy to read the Ten Commandments from the top of the mountain. And it's so hard to keep them. Now, if you haven't obeyed perfectly, join the club. We're all card-carrying members. I'm not talking about perfection, but I'm talking about this attitude. Let's be obedient to God for real. Let's stop telling ourselves 
false narratives, justifying our behavior, saying I'm not all that bad compared to everybody else. Well, you're not called to compare yourself to everybody else. You're called to compare yourself to perfection. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 48, we're to be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. So are you obedient for real? Let's just all get a little better every day at being obedient for real. Father, help us all obey you, love you, follow you the best we can when we fall short to apologize for it. But help us not be like the Pharisees who are always looking to condemn other people and never willing to obey for real themselves. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Thanks, everybody, and don't forget, obey for real.